Not the Grinch. Not the Grinch. Santa, help me. Was it a dream? Where am I? Where am I? Oh, oh I'm home. I'm home. Oh. oh, it's still night. Oh. Oh. Oh, I have so much to do. Tomorrow it's Christmas Eve. Oh, I cannot sleep. I have such a nightmares. Oh. <gasps> oh, that's me. Oh, that's me. <coughs> Hello and welcome back to a very early morning to Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas to you all. <sighs> this is my home. This is my house. Where I have put all the treasures and items that I have found and crafted. I will see if I have ingredients that was wrong to bake a cake so I can give that to the villagers Let's see if sugar milk uh, maybe eggs let's see how do you make a cake Um, <laughs> there. Ah, three milks. One egg, two sugar. Ah, and wheat. Let's see, do I have... Is that only one wheat? I wonder if I can hurry to sneak out to get some wheat so no monsters see me. Oh, soon I'm gonna go up now tomorrow to Santa. Merry Christmas! I have moved the llamas over here. Yeah. The candy cane and the gingerbread llama. Yes. And this is my house. And a very tiny little shabby Christmas tree. <laughs> and I have cows here. Yeah. Let's see. Then I can put away this ah my wait I can milk the cow yes come see come see little cow where did you go don't run away it can be dangerous 
Merry Christmas. Thank you. And Merry Christmas to you too, cow. Oh, wait. Do they eat wheat? I maybe put that. Hello, do they eat? Oh, they eat wheat, don't they? I put away everything here. Um. And the eggs. It's a friend over here. Oh, look at that. <coughs> oh, Merry Christmas. You got born on Christmas Eve. <coughs> yes, you're a holy cow. You're a holy cow family. Oh, didn't I have any wheat left for you? Hmm. Oh. And now the morning is coming. <coughs> So let's go to the villagers. I'm just gonna organize a little in my inventory. Be right back. Knock knock. Are there anyone home? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas villager. And Merry Christmas to you too kitten. Merry Christmas! I have a Christmas cake to you and your friend. Where is your friend? Oi! 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 Hey, it was crowded! <laughs> Merry Christmas, villager. Will you come inside? I have something for you. Yes? Oi. Oi, oi, oi. Here it was crowded. Oh. Oh. Let's see. Where should I place the cake? I place it on the floor. Merry Christmas. Can I take it? These were not so very friendly villagers. <laughs> Let's see if I can just take one. I mean, I'm not hungry. Hmm, then I can't eat, can I? No, I cannot. I was hoping that the villagers maybe would have gotten a kid. But they are... Busy with the animals, I suppose. Will you come inside? Come inside. Not you. <laughs> I give them a little bread then. Villager! This is a crazy house. Oof. Noisy. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you too. Trying to throw bread to you. There you go. Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to you too. Uh, um, skeleton, I think. 
Where are you? A gingerbread skeleton. I'm sorry you have to see that, but it's Christmas. <laughs> no fighting. <laughs> Only me have to fight. Yes. And here, in the middle of the square, I have built, of the few blocks that I actually have, a so-called advent ornament, where I have the four candles. Not so pretty, but at least I managed to get something for the four advent candles. I just empty my inventory. This is not the chest to do it, I know, but. Oh. I'm going to Santa now. Maybe, maybe your owner will come today to you. Maybe. I just want to show you. Can you see it? I have a chimney on my house and it's coming smoke out of it. Although I'm not having a fireplace inside, but it looks cool. You hear on the inside uh, the sound from it. It's a campfire that I have hidden. Because I didn't have room for a fireplace. I'm just going to give the little newborn some food. Oh, nay, I'm eating. It sounds like I am eating. Oh, he grew up. Oh, no, that is not good. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh. They're not traveling trader here today let's see I got that Merry Christmas Lucia And Merry Christmas to you, snowman. Oi. <laughs> oh. Uh, did I put the head on you? I don't think so. Did you turn into... I don't have any more lantern, but I can you make. Oh, wait, I, wait, I have one there. Can make one more. No, that was wrong. Oi! Sorry, sorry. We are all friends here. So, Lucia, now you have company of many snowmen. And now I should try again to eat a piece of the cake. I have been pressing the wrong button. I've been pressing the button that you use when you fight. You should press like when you're eating. Oi! I took half of the cake. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't have any manners. <laughs> I'm still hungry though. I leave the cake for you. Merry Christmas. I have to go up to Santa now. Yes. Huh? 
I forgot to put ladder the pe last piece here. And I don't know why I put this in here now. I should. <laughs> so. So I can. Jump up like that. And this lantern I think I accidentally got with me. It should be there. <gasps> the day has come. I'm here. Oh, I'm here. For you who didn't see the uh, other episode, I have been up here just to sneak peek in the side of this building. But not on the top. Hmm. So I read the book again. Merry Christmas! Santa welcomes you! You are allowed to search for treasures and gifts inside and outside, even within his star island. Enjoy and have fun! So? And there's a place? Down here, if I can get down, that was weird. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Ooh. Santa's close, and here he have his list. <laughs> and the toys and Christmas tree and stockings a stove a fire place and a cow and a chicken what <laughs> what, what, what are a cow and a chicken doing down in the cellar I haven't put you here what are you doing here? <laughs> I have to sneak peek. Ooh. Yeah, here is the copy of all the books in case I would have, yeah, dropped someone. Well, I missed someone, lost someone, I mean. And here we have item frames for and for name tags. I take those. Thank you. And this is bone block. Maybe you can make more bone meal. Oh, there is a bell, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Well, Merry Christmas to you. Yes. Maybe Santa has his own pets. Who knows? I don't know Santa that well. And up here we have a bed we can sleep in. I don't know if you can see so much down here. I don't think so. You see the clouds only? And here I was borrowing a little a few items but now let's see if Santa is up here he's very busy on this day I know that you know he has to come to Sweden uh, on Christmas Eve I know uh, in other countries he comes on uh, Christmas Day but where I live it's on Christmas Eve but let's see if he's home knock knock Let's get inside. Whee. Whee, we under underneath the, the Christmas tree. Oh. That was a big tree. 
with an angel on top and now I heard a pig. And here, look how many cakes. I can eat a little. Boom. I ate half of the cake again. And here we maybe can look out a little. And this is the glass uh, roof. And here we have all the festive armors. We can be dressed like a ginger man. Nutcracker maybe. The snowman we have seen. A Santa! Oh, I want a Santa! Oh! No, a little elf! Hello! Oh, this was cute! Ho, ho, ho! I am Santa! Hmm. It didn't look so good with that because I have this face. I. It was better with this. So, much better. So let's see what's more in here. Oh, the creeper head. He's hot. Now here the pig. <gasps> Merry Christmas! Oh, you poor little pig. I am going to tell what we have on our Christmas table. Ah, that must be the turtle mask. This is a... In the nether, the wither skeleton head? No, that maybe is that wither skeleton head. Oh, now I don't know. <laughs> you, that skeleton, with the skeleton, and you are zombie, zombie, and you are the dragon head. Oh, yes. So all the armors are here, and you're all having all the weapon. Try them. And oh, Santa! I'm here, I'm here, hello, hello. Are all these presents for me? Um, he maybe doesn't understand. Hello, hello, I'm so happy to see you. Are all these gifts for me? Merry Christmas, Santa. Oh, what does it say? Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Hugs Anke Klaus. Hmm, that name sounds familiar. <laughs> Find the three hidden chests. Ooh. Let's. I found, I found them, I found. <laughs> oh, what's this? Did I take it? Yes, I did. Firework rocket. Aha. Uh -huh. Dispenser, piston. Sticky piston, hopper, redstone torch. Ah, oh, it's a lot of stuff. I haven't been building with these kind of things. Nice. Thank you. Oops. Oh, music discs. And note blocks, 
and ju jukebox, I can play them. <gasps> Diamond, nether quartz, crossbow, feathers, hay bales, armor stand, and leads, and crystal, and portal frame. Wow! Very lovely gifts. Very lovely gifts. Now, my friends, I will tell you about my Christmas. So let's see where I'm going to stand. So, Now I'm going to tell you, <coughs> excuse me, about my Christmas tradition on Christmas Eve. It's going to be what we eat in my family. And it may sound kind of odd that the vegetarian is going to say what I am going to say, but uh, I haven't been a vegetarian all my life, although I'm never been a meat lover <laughs> but uh, oh I, I get really hungry just gonna read this for you I've written it down and I've tried to find the English translation to this different thing so I hope I'm saying the right thing if it is something you're wondering about please uh, write in the comment section to me so will I try to explain it to you so one o'clock or I should start in the morning in the morning I usually eat the uh, uh, Christmas porridge but we eat that also during the day so we start with one o'clock we are sitting down the family to eat our Christmas smörgåsbord or as we say smörgåsbord and food and uh, I can start with in our family we don't have turkey or um, oh, I don't know what other people are having we have and that's why it's a little sad I see the little pig is looking at me we have your family on the table I'm so sorry I'm so sorry <laughs> oh, poor little thing so we uh, cook a big ham in a big casserole and after the ham is cooked we uh, have a, a mixture of egg and mustard that we brush the ham on top on top of the ham we brush it with this mixture of egg and mustard and on top of that we sprinkle finely ground breadcrumbs and then we put it in the oven till it have got a nice color and it smells so good in the whole house when you take it out of the oven and to just take the first little little slice of it to taste it when it's still warm it tastes delicious <laughs> Uh, but when it has cooled down, then we cut it up in slices. And now we come to what we eat. We have a bread called Wörtbröd. Wörtbröd. I tried to look it up to try to find some translation. And then it said malt bread. Malt bread. Uh, it's essentially a, a wheat rye bread sweetened and flavored with malt, spices and raisins. It's a brown bread, very good. And on top of that bread, you put a big slice. I should say that I, in this family, since I was young, have named this sandwich Dagobert. And why? Because Dagobert 
is a cartoon um, in a magazine, a very old cartoon that still exists today. And in uh, English, he is called uh, Dogwood Bumstead or Dagwood Bumstead. In our language, it's Dogobert Krikelin, but Dogobert. And the ones who have read that magazine knows that he loves sandwiches. And his sandwiches are a big pile on top of each other. And you will understand when I'm going to tell you now what we put on the bread, why I have named it Dogobert. We say this, oh, a Dogobert sandwich. On top of this vertbröd, malt bread, we lay a big slice with a, this uh, grilled Christmas ham and on top of that a generous amount of mustard and then put, uh, we I say, everyone in my family are doing this differently but I say it as I used to do it and above the mustard you slice cheese, on top of the cheese I have pickled sardines in tomato sauce. You have to take out the bone from it, but pickled sardines in tomato sauce. And above that, slices of liverwurst, lever paste. Mmm. And on top of that, some slices of smoked sausages. And then thick slices of Gustav's Korv which is a special Swedish uh, sausage made of horse meat. Lovely. And then slices of karvsylta, jellied wheel. And uh, let's see, <laughs> there's a long list here. On top of this Dagobert sandwich, at the end you put a big click of apple sauce and on top of that you have a prince korv a prince sausage it would be if I translated it it's a small Swedish sausage which uh, is often sold in links they're small you can eat them cold and you can fry them in a pan and that you top this big sandwich dagobert sandwich with and then you eat it with a fork and a knife and to that we drink Julmust, as I talked about in a previous episode, the Christmas must. <sighs> I'm starting to droodle here. <laughs> Vegetarian and everything. <laughs> and after this um, little starter dish, <laughs> you're quite full, but after this, it's time for the warm food, the warm dishes. Then we have peeled cooked potatoes. We have meatballs, we have julkorv, Christmas sausage, a spicy sausage, a little thick sausage, a little very thick sausage, cooked with bay leaves and allspice berries. Taste yummy, and to that you have also mustard. And then of course we have this small prince korv, prince sausages that you have fried in a pan. We have sill. Special pickled herring that is laid in vinegar, onion, onion, carrots and spices. Yummy. And uh, some slices of cold smoked salmon. And after that, traditionally, we used to eat the uh, Christmas porridge. Uh, the late years have been that we eat it in the evening instead. But all, all the years when I was growing up, we were eating that directly afterwards. <laughs> I usually eat that in the mornings now, but also in the evening. And the Christmas porridge, or Santa's porridge, it was a translated julgröt, then it is Christmas porridge, uh, is uh, uh, cooked um, white rice, porridge rice, milk, cream, sugar, and raisins, very important, there are raisins in the porridge. And uh, on top of the porridge, we sprinkle cinnamon, lots of cinnamon. And then you eat it with having milk poured over it. It's so yummy and delicious. Mmm. 
I get so hungry. <laughs> so we start to eat at one o'clock because at three o'clock we <laughs> roll into the living room. <laughs> we are so stuffed. Uh, we, we go to the living room and gathering in front of the TV because at three o'clock Sweden is standing still on Christmas Eve because that's Oh, it's a old Swedish Christmas tradition. On the TV, it is Disney, Disney's From All of Us to All of You, which is short Disney classic, and they always at the end are a short of a new Disney movie that is coming out. And this has been aired in Sweden since 1960. So I have seen this all my life. And God forbid then, I know when I have been working on Christmas Eve, I didn't feel good at all <laughs> because I knew that, oh, now they are sitting in front of the TV. And uh, uh, of course, we are drinking lots of coffee. We drink more Christmas must, your must, eat uh, candies or there could be cookies and baked buns. We are, we are horrible. <laughs> It's just stuffing ourselves full. <laughs> and after this, uh, it's, it's for one hour, this Disney show. When that ends, Santa usually stops by if we have been nice, that is. So all kids are so anxious, although they like to watch the Disney, but oh, they are waiting for the Santa. <laughs> and then later, in the evening, there's another must-watch tradition on TV. Uh, it has been, uh, it's from, uh, I mean, 1975, and it's called Carl Bertil Jonsson's Jul. It's a cartoon, but it's a cartoon, both for young, but there are mostly the adults who will watch it, because it is, more of an adult story. And uh, it's uh, to translate it, Carl Bertil Jonsson, that is the name of the young boy that it's uh, about and his family. It's Carl Bertil Jonsson's Christmas. Um, if I should try to explain it, it's a lovely, both funny and sentimental, and a little sad also, Christmas story of Klaus distinctions between poor and rich uh, which is still very true even in our time we're living now uh, and the story is written by Tage Danielsson and drawn painted by Per Olin and uh, that is a must you have to watch it because then you feel really happy in your heart afterwards. I, I don't know. If I would miss it, then it is that there's something missing on Christmas. So that's my friend, is what we stuff ourselves in my family on Christmas Eve. Please let me know what your tradition is. If it is Christmas Day, Santa comes, or if you don't have a Santa, but what your tradition is, what you eat or how you do it and so on, because it's very fun to, to hear what other people are having for traditions and if there are anything you also have that you watch on TV or or maybe there's something you go, go to, I mean Christmas Day in the morning. Uh, I used to go, but I haven't gone for so many years now on uh, to church. Uh, very, um, I don't know what it's called, the Chris, uh, church mass or something. I, sorry, I don't know what it's called, but it's very beautiful. And they, in the church, and they sing this classic psalms and ah. Oh. But usually, lately, I, I'm I'm too tired. I, you're up so late on Christmas Eve, and it has been so hectic and and so on. So. I, I, I rather sleep and watch this on TV 
but it's much better to see it live, of course. So, my friends, I have to call you my friends now, because if you who have followed me since the first episode, when I started on that little, little island and fell down, didn't I fell down in the first episode? <laughs> I want to thank you so very much for all your support. You know who you are, but I can say Abiata, Chess, and uh, there have also been other people. I'm sorry if I can't remember your names, but uh, you two have been a really good, really nice supporter, and uh, I wish you and all of you, you who have watched me and are watching now a uh, merry merry christmas and a happy new year and uh, i hope you take care of yourself out there and if oh this is christmas eve so you probably are at your family now but i wish that well, i hope you have been careful on the roads because i know how it, the traffic is it's insane so please be careful when you're out driving and uh, yeah this is all i have for today and uh, who knows if i will come back with some similar series or if i do something else uh, if you have any suggestion please let me know and uh, yeah merry merry christmas and thank you so very much and santa is just hiding in the corner he doesn't want to be with don't you want to take a selfie with me santa He looking down at me. <laughs> In this episode, I won't die. And that was what I was going to say. I'm lost for words here. You will see after this a list of all the times that I have died. And I have written down also how I died. Just to make <laughs> stand that this wasn't... I mean, it was all for fun. But I didn't know I was going to fall down from this island so many times as I did. Oh, look, the pig also want to be with. He climbed up on the Christmas presents. Oh, Merry Christmas to you too, my little ham, I almost said. <laughs> so thank you so much. Merry Christmas. And bye. 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 Bye, bye, bye. I also want to show you how it now looks like when I have finished all these pathways. So you see over there the bluish or turquoise. That is the bedrock where you come up. And then I started on the small little island and I have uh, widened and made them more straight some of these pathways and I have put the uh, torches uh, uh, on the fences that I have framed the pathways with and over there you see from the Paradise Island the railroad to the nether portal Let's see how it looks like when it's night time. So, now it's getting night time. And then you can see all the torches that are placed out.
there is the moon and there's Lucia and the story island 